All right then, so as I've stated, I'm going to be doing the shaping in this particular episode, but the first part I'm going to fix is this annoying nasty neck pocket. Now, in the interest of fairness, again, I did do something off camera and I didn't record it because I had a feeling that I was probably going to be wrong. So I said, you guys see me fail and redo it, but I'm happy to report that it worked the first time. So, as you may be able to tell just there, and on there, sorry, I forgot which side it was on there. <laughs> I installed my strap box. Now, there was a reason for this because I needed to know exactly where the weight was so I could make sure I counterbalanced it right. But also, I needed to feel how the neck worked because with how thick this is, my hand was, my thumb was here, and it was really hard to play. Like, my hand was literally going like this to get to the dusty end of the fretboard. <laughs> What I've done is, and I will show you in a second, I've drawn on a rough plan of how I'm going to shape it. So, allow me to explain. Okay, so at this angle you can see, so you can see exactly what I've drawn on. So I'm kind of going about halfway to where it is now. This is so that my thumb's kind of more down here, and it's going to be a lot closer to the fretboard, a lot easier to play. And I'm going to go between, roughly, between the four next screw holes. This is so that, obviously, you know, it's easier to play, but also I don't mess up this hole here. Now, the other fun thing that I've done, as you may have just seen there, but I have drawn around all of the body with my idea of how I'm going to round this over. Now, I do have round over bits. I could do it with a router, but you see, I have more fun doing this by hand. So, let's grab the Shinto rasp, get this body rounded over.
actually worked really well. Now that I've taken that centre line off, that may have been off, this looks quite good, I must say. I'm quite happy with that one, but yeah, there's a lot of, you know, gouges and stuff that I still need to sand out, but I've only done it up to 120 at the moment. I'm going to do it up to 240, but before I get to that point, you may be wondering why I've taped around this bit. Well, it's because the colour scheme is going to match around here, and this neck was already pre-finished. I need to get some of that off, but also I'm replacing this nut for this titanium nut. Ooh, where are we? There we are. This titanium nut here from Geica. And it may need some enlarging, but I'm not quite sure yet. I'm going to have a batch of removing a nut because I've never removed one of the uh, strut style necks, so bear with me. I thought so. Yeah, it needs a bit. So I need to make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Right, don't judge me too harshly. I've never enlarged a uh, nut slot before, so I apologise if I'm doing it completely wrong. talking at the end of that last little bit there but this microphone had died and I didn't realize until I'd finished hey what are you gonna do gotta say for my first ever strat style nut replacement I am really happy with this it fits so nicely now it's not perfect I'm not gonna say that by any measure but I don't have the right tools to do a proper nut extension but this works I fixed it so I extended it sorry past this point because obviously the intonation point is from here so I didn't wreck any of that so yeah it works out but now it's time for a lot and I mean a lot of sand 